Hey guys, it's Courtney with The Flipping Nomad and today is an extremely special day because the Ultimate Fusion is finally done. I can't even believe I get to muster those words because we have put our blood, sweat and tears into this rig for the last five months, taking the already fabulous Fusion 425 and upfitting it into a radical toy hauler like nothing that has ever been seen before. And today, I finally get to give you a first look. Okay, we are currently following Nick Ebenroth, who is the product manager of Fusion. He's taking us over to the Fusion plant to see the shell of the Ultimate Fusion for the first time. And my nerves are sky high. I just got a flood of emotion. I might start crying. <laughs> <laughs> this is open. We can go it's right inside this door. Ready? Okay, we're ready. Excited? <laughs> I'm it's nervous. going up. I'm cry. Doors opening. <laughs> ah! Yes. Ah, oh, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. The ultimate fusion. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 The open concept bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it's an open concept bathroom. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. We're gonna do side by side washer dryer. I've got a whole custom closet like sketched out. sketched out. The custom closet's gonna come around this way too, integrated with the window and a TV that lifts up and a fireplace. I've got it. Awesome. We're dialed in. We're I'm so ready. This becomes bathroom. And then the kitchen is gonna be back here. So it's gonna be like L shaped. And then there's gonna be some really tricky things that we're gonna build into the closet, uh, like a hidden appliance garage um, that will be disguised behind a backsplash. So th these will all become windows all the way up to the ceiling on both sides and then sofa here. Uh, we will be installing a wall here at some point. This is now going to become the, the vanity. So when this wall gets pushed back about a foot and a half, the bathtub um, will sit right here. Yeah. No, this is, this is perfect. This is real. It's here. It's happening. Like, we're done talking about it. Like, yeah. it's, Let's get busy. it's game time now. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I knew I wanted to work with a Keystone Fusion toy hauler for several reasons. Number one, build quality. They've been around for a long time and they do a lot of things right, like welding their tie downs to the frame. And I honed in on the Fusion 425 specifically because I am a sucker for toy hauler patios. And when I saw that this new 425 had not one, but two patios, I was hooked. Over the last five months, we have taken this already awesome floor plan and done a radical custom upfit to it to be exactly what I need in a personal rig uh, for my personal living space and then also the business being in the garage. So let's go take a look. So of course, one of the first thing that catches people's attention when they see the Ultimate Fusion is it is basically all black. So this is a beautiful wrap that was installed by BGS. I love how it came out. It's so like moody and gorgeous, but also kind of pays homage to the Ultimate Montana, which was its predecessor that we built in 2019. And we couldn't really have an Ultimate Fusion without having a killer exterior audio system. This was supplied by Kicker, so we can't say thank you enough to them for supplying this outdoor audio, which is going to give us so many fun hours of partying and having a great time with this fusion out in the field. So excited to have this side patio, not only to have some extra outdoor living space, but also for the really fun and unique upfits that we did to it. So starting at the top of this panel, this is a special switchable glass. So when the glass is off, it's like a normal window, but when it's turned on, it frosts. However, it's opaque enough that you could shoot a projector through it and now it becomes the TV for the side patio. And then below that really awesome trick TV is an outdoor fireplace, which not only creates some really 
gorgeous ambiance for when you're sitting outside enjoying the side patio, but it also puts off heat. And of course, we could not forget man, or should I say woman's best friend. Of course, I had to include a dog door for the dogs that ride around with me. Thanks to our friends over at Lipper, we were able to get custom windows even. Not only did we get custom sizes, but we also got custom profiles. However, I kind of wanted to push the limits a little bit and see if we could get the square glass look. You can see with this window how it's square here, but this is the actual cutout part of it. We went hog wild with solar. We basically caked the entire roof of this 46 foot fusion with solar panels. There are 22 in total and each is 220 watts. So that gives us a total of 4,840 watts on the roof. And those panels are supplying the energy for the six Battleborn Game Changer batteries that we have. They are 270 amp hours each, giving us a total of 1,620 amp hours. And the rest of the system is all made up with Victron components and the entire install was done by Future Solutions here in the Elkhart, Indiana area. Having this massive of an install is going to allow me to be off the grid basically indefinitely. And that includes running air conditioners, which is a, it's a feat to be able to do something like that. So as long as the sun is out, we can be out adventuring. So welcome to the interior of the Ultimate Fusions. There is a lot of dog elements built into this rig and another one of them is directly behind me here at the floor. If anybody has traveled for any extended length of time with some furry friends, you know how um, in the way their beds can get. And so one thing that I really wanted to do was build in dedicated spaces for both of those dog beds. So then coming around to this slide here, this couch was custom built for us by Lippert. The beautiful texture on the fabric, but also it is a trundle. So it pulls out like this, this flips up, and then you can have optimal lounging cuddle time for movie night on the projector screen TV. So if you look up at the ceiling, we've got a projector up here for movie night. So it shoots across to the rig over here. So we've got a screen over here that the projector projects onto. So as we're making our way into the kitchen, the first stop is the fridge. And this is actually an RV fridge, if you can believe it. It looks so residential and I'm so in love with it. I'm so excited to have it. Uh, it's Furion brand and it's 12 volt. I really wanted to have this not only from a style standpoint, but also from it being a 12 volt standpoint because in my old RV, I had a residential fridge. It was great, I loved it. But this is gonna give me a uh, new experience with a new type of fridge. Another thing that I really wanted to have was a dining space, but not necessarily a dining table that was permanently part of the space. I wanted the option of having it when I wanted it, but not having it when I don't, which is how I landed on this bar top. When I wanna use it, obviously it's up like this, but you'll also see the slide can't come in if it's up like that. So to get the slide in, and then to also not have the dining table when I don't want it, it's on these little brackets flip it down, slide comes in, slash dining table tucks away, and you can use the space for something different. So now into the kitchen space, there were so many things that I wanted to have built into my kitchen. Uh, one of them was the U shape, which I was able to accomplish. And one of the things that I really wanted was a nugget ice maker. So I was able to find this one that loads from the top, so that way I could build it in, but then still access everything. Another must have for me was a dishwasher. And I've actually had a dishwasher in my other RV for the last four years and I swear by it. I said, I have to have one again. And so we were able to get one in. So this is a little apartment size dishwasher. So this was on the top of the priority list to build it into this cabinet. But the crowning jewel of this kitchen and probably what I am most excited about with this kitchen is this backsplash. But not just the backsplash, what is hiding behind the backsplash. This appliance garage was, like I said, super, super high on my priority list because I wanted to be able to have these style of appliances 
very easily accessible, but also ready for travel, but not just out on the countertop. I really wanted to push myself and say, how can I have quick and easy access to appliances, but still solve all of those other problems. And this is what we came up with. So like you saw when we were outside on the side patio about the fancy window that turns into a TV with the help of a projector, this is the inside of it. So you'll see here, we've got this cute, tiny little super compact projector. It shoots to the backside of the glass and the glass is currently on TV frosted mode right now. So I'm going to turn it to its other setting where it now becomes a window. Personally, I love a pretty kind of modern, contemporary interior design style, and I've always wanted a chandelier like this, but the wiring was always just too tricky to figure out. But I pushed myself and the team pretty hard to figure this one out, and I am loving it. Now coming upstairs into the bedroom and the bathroom of the Ultimate Fusion, and another thing that I wanted to do up here was maximize the space, even though we've only got about 12 inches when the slide is in. So we do have a full size picture window here, but then behind this little piece of greenery is a TV on a lift. So I love that combination where I can still watch TV from bed, but also have this gorgeous big picture window when I'm parked somewhere beautiful. So coming around to the front of the rig, we have even more cabinetry and I really sat down and put a lot of thought into how my life functions and how I need my closet to function. And so being that I work in construction, but I didn't want my shop clothes incorporated with my normal street clothes uh, when they're sitting in the laundry hamper. So that's why I installed two different hampers down here. And I also wanted to be able to throw clothes into them pretty easily. So that's why they both have these flaps one will be dedicated to construction clothes and the other will be dedicated to normal street clothes. And for me, I travel and zip around the country quite a bit. And so I need my rig to be fully accessible with its slides in and to be able to access as much of the closet as possible. So that is why I scooched the washer and dryer over to here. So when the slide comes in, they get blocked, but I didn't want to see the washer and dryer. I wanted them covered. So the solution was to do these fancy timbre doors where they slide to reveal the washer and dryer that will get installed in a few days. I also wanted to do some beautiful warm tone accent lights. You know, I think we can all appreciate it when you're winding down for the night and you turn the lights off, but just have a little bit of dim accent lighting. Um, so that's why we installed this beautiful disc up here and we painted it white so it could blend in with the ceiling. So that way you didn't feel like it was in your face, um, but it's just low enough that we were able to sneak in this strip of rope lights. And I think it's gonna add just a beautiful touch to the space at night. Another must have for me for the bathroom was a bathtub. And I have had a residential bathtub in my last RV and I said, I have to have one again. And so I found this awesome residential 48 inch bathtub and 48 inch is awesome because it's a great size for RVs, but it's still big enough to feel like you're actually taking a bath. And if you've RV'd long enough, you've probably recognized that sometimes bathroom trash cans are hard to store if you don't have somewhere specific for them. So I wanted to make sure that we built that into the vanity. So the trash is hiding in this drawer here, but that's not the only fancy drawer in here. I also built in a drawer for toilet paper. That way it's easily accessible, uh, but in the back of it, there is room to store extra rolls. I also wanted to build in a medicine cabinet, but I did not want to give up having one of these backlit vanity mirrors, but then built a custom medicine cabinet that I mounted on the side and we put it on drawer glides. So that way it's easily accessible and the door isn't hitting your face as you're trying to open it. You might have noticed that there isn't a door between the bedroom and the bathroom, or is there? Uh, we put in this pretty cool, if I do say so myself, fancy double sliding door mechanism that come out so that way you can have more space in the bathroom when you want or privacy when you want. And what's a toy hauler without a garage? We have made our way to the very back of the Ultimate Fusion in the garage. And you can see I upfitted it to be combination digital nomad and analog nomad. 
Over here, we've got my desk space. I've got a large surface space. I've got drawers. I've got my monitor. I've got this gorgeous view as well. And I'm super excited to get parked somewhere beautiful where I can look out at the scenery and enjoy the gorgeous boondocking spot that I'm in, but also get work done. Each one of these components on the left and on the right are their own individual pieces. You'll see that they are mounted on casters. So what happens is each one of them pulls away and this desktop is actually mounted to the wall and it's on hinges. So when these little cabinets pull out, this uh, desktop folds down and now I've got almost double the floor space back here. And now on the analog nomad <laughs> side of the garage, um, there is a lot more uh, to this wall than meets the eye. It's got this really cute library ladder, uh, my all-time favorite quote here from Steve Jobs and a cute little fireplace. And what is behind it is an extremely deep cabinet. It's almost 29 inches deep. And this is where I will store all of the tools that we need to do mobile upfits for clients' RVs out in the field. And also back here, this cabinet is going to house the electric e-bike. These cabinets up here, I knew we needed cabinets up there because that was just a bunch of dead space. And this is a rolling library ladder and you can pull it out and then it slides over so that way when you lock it into place then you can climb up and you can access all this cabinetry up here and to make it even homier back here we added this cute little fireplace it's actually an rv fireplace so it's ready for the road this is what we have been calling the utility room and it's kind of the brains of the operation slash still has a little bit of storage in it so this is where the bulk of the solar components live, like the charge controllers, the inverters, and the batteries. Now that the Ultimate Fusion has come to life, we are taking this baby on the road. There's gonna be so many stops that we are going to have all over the country where you can come see the Ultimate Fusion in person. And we are even going to be at the Tampa, Florida RV Super Show in January. So keep an eye out for all of those details. And if you are also interested in a Fusion 425, check out keystonerv.com slash fusion.